Hi, welcome to Pretty Scratchy Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today I'm coming on with a Timu haul. Timu reached out to me and asked if I would collab with them. And you all know that I love Timu. I've been shopping with Timu for about a month and a half now. Absolutely love their products. So I said yes. I would love to do a collab with them. So I have a couple of things that I purchased and I'm going to split it up into a couple of videos. The first one here is my wax melts. Absolute love their wax seals and wax things that they have. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a tea light and grab my tile because I want to do a sampling with these so you can check them out. Okay, so I have my tile set up. We're going to go ahead and light my tea light. And I want a smaller wick on that tea light. So the first thing I got was a stove and the spoon. And I absolutely love the colors that they offered on these. And I really loved the black. I did, as you know, get one from Hobby Lobby. And it... In my opinion, the one from Hobby Lobby just does not compare to the one from Timu. This one has fallen apart more often. This piece here comes off. This one is absolutely in there, secure. So I am really thrilled to have this stove. So I'm going to pop that on. And the spoon? The spoon is absolutely gorgeous. It's shallow compared to this one, which is deeper. This one came with my stove at Hobby Lobby. I've been using it. It's scratched and it's just falling apart. So when I was given the chance to get this one, absolutely love how deep that is. Absolutely beautiful. Fits perfectly right on there. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in some wax melts and I've got blue here. And I also got my wax melts from Timu in another purchase. So it usually takes about four for my um, stamps. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to show you the stamps here as well. So the first one I have, I got this one for Easter. Absolutely love it. See if I can get it to focus so that you can see it a little bit better. So it has that little bunny on there. Isn't that just adorable? So I got that one and then I chose this set, seal wax set for the holidays. The box is really gorgeous. I really love that. And then it came with this plastic sheeting over the seals, which is really nice. And the seals are gorgeous. There's a rose, a floral, a snowflake, a tree, a gift box, and a for you which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it came with another one, the Floor de Lis. And this is really a nice weight on here, but I wanna start with the bunny. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one first so that you can see it. And I have, I use a tile for mine to do my wax seals. I absolutely love using a tile. It sits perfectly on there. It's nice and sturdy. So it is nice and sturdy, it's nice and cool, keeps that temperature really well. And I also have the spoon <laughs> spatula here. I also got this at Timu. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this first one. And look how gorgeous that just pours really nicely, beautifully out of there. And it doesn't burn on the bottom there. Beautiful. I'm gonna set some more melts in there. I'm gonna go one shade darker. I'm gonna drop that bunny one right on there. And four seems to be the perfect amount for doing this. And this just peels right off of that spoon perfectly. Comes right off, goes right on this mat. And when it's dry enough, I just peel it off. And then I save my scraps as well, which I don't have many which I have found really, really nice. So it only takes a few seconds for the melts to um, peel off. And then I set it on the tile just to help it cool down a little bit more. 
And as you can see, that is burning beautifully. And then it just peels off so gorgeous. And you can see that little bunny. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little gold on there just so you can see it a little bit better while I'm waiting for that to dry. So I'm gonna go right up here, see if I can't get it to do a really good zoom so that you can see it. So I like to use the markers to highlight these stamps even more. There we go. Isn't that absolutely darling? Perfect time for Easter coming up. Absolutely love that one. In the time it took me to do that, my melt is ready for the next one. So let's go ahead and we'll remove the bunny. And we'll try this for you stamp so you can see how that looks. The only thing I wish that they would do about wax melts is have it so that you can do your left hand because I am left handed when I do my pores for my wax melts to come out. So having that on the other end doesn't help me at all. I'm going to grab more and put them in there. If I can reach in here. There we go. I'm going to pop the 4U on there. And I'm just going to set the bunny one right there next to the bunny so that we can see it. Pop that on there. And I have some excess. And it's already hardened, so I'm just going to remove it right from that spatula. And I really love the ability to use the spatula. I did order another one because I loved it so much. So that I could have one for the... Um... Okay, that one I pulled a little bit too early. So I could have it for um, resin because the spoon works great for glitters. It doesn't adhere very long for glitter. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this one off here if it's ready. And it looks like it's ready. So that is the for you. You can see that little dent. So I'm not gonna paint this one, but you can see that gorgeous for you on there. And what I'm going to do is remelt it down with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the next one on. So that's our for you. And then let's do that rose. So that is my rose one here. I really love watching these melt down and pour into the thing. I just wish that that little dent was on the other side too. Pop that down. So as you can see, I'm going through my shades of colors with these. And I got all of my all of my wax melts that I have came from Timu. And I can link those if you want them um, to have the links to some of the colors in the for the wax melts down below. Uh, let me know. I have the links for everything that I've ordered. And if it's out of stock, I won't be able to link it down below. But if it's in stock, I should be able to link down below for you. I'm just gonna set that one over there. So this is that little flower, really pretty. And then we have the snowflake. You've seen me do the snowflake before because it is the same snowflake that I already have. 
and then I have a Christmas tree here and then there's that gift box one so I'm not going to do the flower or the snowflake on this but I do want to share the Christmas tree and the gift box and I'm not going to do the Florida de Lis as well and I apologize again for my neighbors I live in a building where there's 22 units and sometimes there's arguing and fighting going on. So I'm just going to pop the gift one onto there because I forgot to pull it and I'll put that one for you to see. And Christmas tree has some green. So we'll do that one in green mixed with that blue. So I'm going to pull off this rose one. So you can see that really pretty okay so the roses in there flower just put the floor to lease right there and we have the Christmas tree one and I'll include a picture at the end so you can see them that rose is really gorgeous I think I will do that one in gold so you can see how beautiful that rose came out. So that is the rose, really pretty. And I really wish that I hadn't done this one a little bit so you could see how beautiful that is. And I really like that bunny one. That one just really is really adorable. It's so cute and so intricate in the detailing for that stamp to get those tiny little details. And even in the For You, you get a lot of those details. So this is ready to come off. Pop that one over there. So the Christmas tree one is going to have a couple of different colors on it which is okay. Pop that on there and I'm just gonna blow that out. Now these don't touch hot metal. <laughs> okay, learn from me. Don't touch the end of those. You're gonna burn your fingers. I'm just using a wipe to clean this up. And I'm always burning my fingers on these. <laughs> every time I go to clean them I never seem to miss that little edge right there but I didn't get burnt too badly so that's good okay that one's not ready yet I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off here I can't believe I burned my finger again yeah that was my husband telling me nice one well, it's not the first time I've done it. Won't be the last. That's true. Okay, so that gift one came out really pretty. Let's go ahead and do that with the gold so you can see that one. The detailing on this one is beautiful as well. So you get those ribbons up there on the gift. These will make great gifts throughout the year, not just at Christmas time for this one. Look at the detail on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm gonna set this over on that so I don't burn my finger anymore. So let's see, side by side on those two. There's the gift one. We'll move the mat out of the way. Then we have the rose one, which I think I put up here. So there's the rose. And then the bunny one. That bunny. Oh, he's so adorable. Then the for you was part of this kit here. And I believe we're ready to take the tree off. And let me grab my marker right here to show you the details on those trees. Because sometimes in the coloring, 
of the wax melt, you can lose the detail. 